In a powerful address at the Democratic National Convention, President Biden underscored his endorsements of Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic Party's choice to challenge Republican nominee Donald Trump in the upcoming presidential election. Well, before this, we spoke with VOA's Carol Van Dam ahead of the convention, and here's what she had to say. I'm here in Chicago where the Democratic National Convention kicks off today for a four-day run. We're going to hear tonight from President Joe Biden himself. He will be speaking about his legacy, we expect, but also about what fate has brought him, how he decided, of course, to step aside for his vice president, Kamala Harris, who's the presumptive nominee, along with her vice president running mate, Tim Waltz. It's going to be an exciting day here. We're seeing Democratic uh, delegates and others flowing in. Right now, it's quiet because there's not much going on until tonight's big festivities, which of course includes the keynote speaking address from President Biden. It's been a whirlwind of events for the last few weeks. Things have quite turned around for the Democrats since the president decided to step aside and pass the torch on to his vice president. We're going to hear speeches from others, including Hillary Clinton, the former Secretary of State and wife of Bill Clinton, who is speaking later this week. Uh, Democrats that we've talked to so far are very fired up because polls lately have shown that she's ignited something with young people that has more than doubled her poll numbers where they were from just a few weeks ago and uh, extremely skyrocketed since President Biden was still at the top of the ticket. So they have that going for them along with independent voters. The latest ABC Washington Post news poll that just came out uh, not too long ago said that the independent voters have now swayed over to her side of the, the party and are excited about this new ticket. I'm Carol Van Dam reporting from Chicago, Illinois at the Democratic National Convention. Speaking on the opening night of the convention, President Biden received a standing ovation from party members highlighting his deep commitments to the Democratic Party as he prepares to step down in five months. His speech not only celebrated Harris as a key figure in safeguarding American democracy, but also marked a significant moment in his long career of service to the party. You know us. She still leaves me both breathless and speechless. Everybody knows her. I love her more than she loves me. She walks down the stairs and I still get that going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you all will know me. No, I'm not kidding. Let's give a special round of applause to our First Lady, Jill Biden.